Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Let's go ahead and continue with the story. Oh, goody. We need to find five of these fairy tale diode things, right? Will these really hel help Agnaratha look beautiful again? I mean, it has a kind of beauty. So this is the Makonis capital. Yes, Agniratha. Or Agniratha. The heart of the Makina civilization. It looks so desolate. Like there are no signs of anyone living here. It truly is a soulless city. Here, bad place. Ricky want to go. Wow, just be insult uh, Vanea that way. So the Machina built this whole city. Not too shabby. It looks like the buildings have been here for a very long time. Look, Shulk! Dino Beast! Dino Beast eat city! A Dino Beast? Here! It seems to be asleep or dead. Petrified, maybe. But how? It is a Telethia! It looks petrified to me. It looks like... It's stone. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Why would there be a Telethia in a place like this? The fossilized Telethia are what remain of the beasts that attacked the capital in the ancient battle. And why did the Telethia attack your city? Wasn't the ancient battle only between the Bionis and the Mechonis themselves? I mean, it would have, like... <laughs> the answer to your question can be found in that tower, the data center. I think it's a little bit more than that. It is better that you see with your own eyes. If you Only were... then will you truly understand what happened between the Bionis and the Mechonis. If you were living on uh, either of the two back then, I kind of feel like uh, um, you might have taken up arms to fight the uh, people of the other one. At the very least to, like, save yourself kind of thing doors that we can't go into. So these are uh, houses, alright. I wanna, I wanna jump up on it. Why didn't they get rid of the uh, fossilized remains? So that's a good question. Well, that's a tiny one. Uh, fortune feather. All right, Collectopedia. There's a fair number of things. Uh, we have no. All oh, right, we only get pictures when we uh, fulfill the stuff, don't? Isn't it? There's quite a few items. So fairy tale diode. Um. Yeah, that's the only way to tell how many I have. I have to click on that. It's really kind of annoying. Central tower. Blue light amp. So we'll go in there in a bit. Because we got stuff to, to explore out here. You have to go to the data center. Oh, wow, rude game. <laughs> <laughs> just invisible plot wall, just right there. All right. Fine. A shop terminal. Well, gimme. It's kind of weird that we do not actually have people, but okay. Let's buy a Machina staff, too, even though I'll never use it. Uh, speed, two goggles. Ether, two goggles. Uh, attack two goggles. No, not 29 of them. Power two goggles. Taurus Helm L. Uh, speed two frame. Ether two frame. Attack two frame. Power two frame. Taurus plate. Taurus plate L. Oh my god. Goodbye, money. Goodbye, sweet cash.
All right, we need to sell some stuff. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. Any uh, any dupes in here at all? Okay, Jack Daggers. Okay. All right, Karma Blades. These are the exact same. Uh, Machina Biter 2. Get rid of that one. Machina Blade 3. Yeah, the same. Alright. Uh, Machina Cannons. Machina Driver 2s. Well, they're worth a fair bit. That's good. Why is the Machina Driver 3 worth less than the Machina Driver 2? Like, it's better in every way. <laughs> that makes no sense at all. Alright, Machina Garter 3s. Alright. Machina Nibblers. Machina Rifle 2s. Machina Sniper. Staff, Staff 2, and Staff 3. Machina Sword 2s. These are the same. bit more money in our pocket at least. Alright. Let's go ahead and look for dupes here. F-speed goggles. We only need one. Might have enough money now to buy the things that I want, but uh, let's look a bit more. Uh, since I have ruby glasses equipped, I'm going to keep the other ones just in case it's good for someone else. I can always sell it later. It's not super important to uh, sell it right now. Yeah, the stats are the same. It's basically just getting a different uh, appearance, I'm sure. Okay. Agni Plate. Yeah, those are actually pretty good. Alright, let's actually see if I have enough. Taurus Greaves L. Euclea drones, which are cannon drones, too. Eh. Ishtar drones. Shield drones, one. And... Helworthia drones, which are sword drones, one. Uh, same stats, it looks like. Which is disappointing. But there we go! <laughs> We've uh, managed to buy everything. Terminal always open for business. City Planning Terminal. Agniratha must be restored to a state of perfection. Collect repair materials for the damaged structures. 
four new part S's from Small Mechon in Agnarotha. Uh, collect five fairy tale diodes in Agnarotha. 51,000 money. I guess that's how you get the money for uh, those upgrades. We received an order from an ancient terminal. The destroyed buildings need to be restored. Find collectibles to act as the raw materials. You'll accept that quest? I will accept that quest. New part S's and fairy tale diodes required. These are technically people. Agnarotha must be maintained in a perfect state of perfection. Collect repair materials for the damage structures. Uh, three new part L's and uh, six grape springs from large mechon. 53,500. Agnarotha structures damaged in Bionis attack. Reconstruction in progress. No new abnormalities detected. How long has it been since you've uh, been able to do this, huh? Some Mechon are in possession of excess power. Mechon must have equal power. Victory can only be assured if all individuals follow orders. Unbalanced power is undesirable. Punish the offenders. Wow. Defeat Vagabond Alosair in the uh, area of Hellas, Pillar in Agnarotha. No, I'm not going to go defeat Alisair. She was a very valuable Tactics Ogre character. 79,000 monies. Vagabond Alisair is located at Hellas Pillar. Some Mechon are in possession of excess power. Mechon must have equal power. This is a military status terminal. Alright, what do you got? Uh, Wise Gremory in the area of Zedonia Plaza in Agnarotha. 68,500. Okay, so just the two. Civil protection. Some Mechon are out of control and ignoring their orders. They must be neutralized. Five M67 Hastes in uh, Agnarotha. Okay, 43,500. So you kind of have to wonder, like, I mean, do the Mechon like uh, um, Venea not count towards this, and, and the others are, are just like autonomous drones, essentially? Not true intelligences? I guess so. All right, so six M36 Sacre. Sacre. Saker? I don't know. Uh, 38,500 monies. They're dispersed throughout Agnarotha, huh? Alright. Three offensive braves in Agnarotha. 40,000 monies. How do they use money that I can use? Agnarotha Civil Protection Program status suspended. Worshipper count at central Maineth Effigy, zero. Status, normal. Verifying Agnarotha and Telethia combat potential. Verification complete. Telethia combat units remaining, zero. Capital control terminal. Unresolved issues requiring immediate attention are present. Resolve all issues to receive a key to the top for a special view. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you say so. Performing enemy combat strength analysis. This is the strategic intel terminal. Samples from the small Telethia that attacked Agnarotha required. Investigate the four speci specified Telethia immediately. Investigate the small Telethia around Hellas Pillar in Agnarotha. The small Telethia around Dios Pillar. Dios, huh? Uh, small Telethia around the effigy of Maineth, and the small Telethia around Kalkos Pillar. 27,000 monies, 25,000 experience. I'll take that. All right. The Telethia can be found at the following locations. Hellas Pillar, Dios Pillar, effigy of Maineth, Kalkos Pillar. The four samples shall be used for classification. And analyzing enemy combat potential. Immediate investigation required. Let's see another military status terminal. Some Mechon are in possession of excess power. Mechon must have equal power. Victory can only be assured if all individuals follow orders. Unbalanced power is undesirable. Punish the offenders. 
All right, Meditative Varla in Zidonia Plaza. Okay, 75,000 monies. I'll pick that. Next up. Wrathful Oribus in the area of Dio's Pillar. All right, 83,500 monies. Civil Protection Terminal. Some Mechon are out of control and ignoring their orders. They must be neutralized. M55 Dreads in Agnarotha. 36,000. All right. Some Mechon are out of control and ignoring their orders. They must be neutralized. M67 Radars. Radar Secret Service. 41,500. All right. And you have another one. All right. What do we got? M87 Grands. Four of them. Okie dokie. Well, you know... Oh, skill trees. Um, Alright, so you got heavy equipment. Okay. That's fine. You got... Uh, strength up buff at the start of battle with higher level enemies. <laughs> that might have been useful. Uh, causes burst affinity to uh, fill more of the party gauge. Okay. All right. Yep, we got new uh, appearances for everyone. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. We got Ether Cowling one. Oh, good. All right. Speed Cowling two. Okay. So it looks like uh um. We're going to get, like, white and whitish colors, red and purples and blues for, uh... Oh, that could be nice. Uh, for a Fiora. Okay, yep. We got red instead of uh, blue. Oops. Power cowling two. Gold for the uh, the torso. Instead of that silver. So same thing, but uh, light blue. That's it there. All right. Dark red there on her arms. Red arms there. Gold now there. That's blue. Same uh, arms as what we have right now, but in blue. That's it. Okay. Dark red legs. I uh, got some red and pink. All right. Gold. And blue. Speed cowling two for that. Getting silver there. Rather than this gold. Power cowling two there, little tiny wings. Don't have power cowling one. Lucina cowling. Ooh, wings. I kind of like that. Alright, so, uh, yeah, these are, uh, these are tending to be better. H attack is what I have. Um, because I don't have H either. Yeah, I'll lose a lot of uh, ether defense. I kind of like to keep the ether defense. So the power frame two again, losing a lot of ether defense. 
for just a little bit of physical defense. Not really worth it. Uh, let's see, Euclea drones, those are cannon drones too. Good boost to physical defense, but ether defense goes down. Last start we had. So the Grizzly drones are slightly more better physical defense, but way lower ether defense. And the Hellworthia are basically the same as the Etois. I mean, I get that there's going to be a difference in the appearance, but I also have no idea what the uh, appearance difference is now. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we can do that. And... That. Oh, okay, so it's that. The Etois is are those. Like, completely different appearance. I'll stick with those for now. Yeah, I wanna... And I wanna stick with that armor. Uh, however, I think that to match that... Let's go with red. Yeah. Red and gold. That looks pretty good. Also, we have other people with uh, new appearances. Um, M100 Legacy 2. M100 <laughs> Legacy 2. Okay. That's, uh, that's a big helmet there with cat ears, kind of. green unicorn horn that actually makes me think of uh, Evangelion. Alright. Green as well. That's uh, pink and gold. You There it is. Okay. Almost reasonable compared to the others. <laughs> M100 Type 2. M100 Type 2. That's just kind of silly looking. It's very squared off. Big purple armor. I should probably put everyone in the armor types eventually. I kind of like that. Just to see, like, but I kind of want to have everything. Alright, M100 Legacy 2. M100 Legacy 2. That seems very similar. There, there we go. Alright, gauntlets. M100 Legacy 2. That's big and blue. Really can't see them with his long sleeves. Those are gigantic. Alright, and M100 Type 2 leggings.
big in purple. Big in green. That's on his back. And 100 Legacy 2. Basically the same design there. Alright, and then... Boots, M100 Legacy 2. <laughs> Those are gigantic. They look, like they, they look like they would just clomp everywhere. And I have no idea how she walks in those, where her feet are. Like, where exactly are her feet? And how is that at all stable? <laughs> and then weapon wise Machina Staff 2 so that was green that's paler green <laughs> alright but that is uh, all of the equipment uh, once we have everything, I do think that I, I want to go through and change appearances so that we can see what everyone looks like in a full suit of each thing. Um, one other thing, I kind of want to see if I have better weapon appearance for you. Yeah, like uh, red Makana swords would be nice. Well, Sparrow Blades might actually work. Yeah, the Sparrow Blades, I think, are supposed to go with that. It looks like they meet back there as, like, a, an almost skirt thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with that. Uh, Ether Cowling 2 does have a, uh, a gold appearance, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna, there's gonna be, there's no Ether Cowling 1 armor, though, like, uh, yeah, there's no Ether Cowling 1 for the, um, the things on the back. Which would probably have dark red there where the uh, the black is, and actually now that I'm looking at it, the sparrow blades look like whatever that's gonna be. It's probably some sort of black armor. But uh, these would work. Those kind of work. But what can I say? I like her having big engines on the back of her. <laughs> All right. But when we come back next time, we will see about uh, exploring. Uh, yeah, we've got some uh, things here already. Some targets. Lots of uh, targets in all these locations. But that is all going to be next time. See you then, everyone. <laughs>